Hi friends, Susanna here today, and today I'm going to be working on the cutest little baby gown. I have a um, baby shower coming up, and this is such a quick and simple little gift that you can give to any of your expecting friends, or you can make for your own little babies. Um, I love it. Quick, simple, and super cute. Let's do it. it's time to cut and I'm making a zero to three I don't really want to make newborn because I want it to be um, to fit them for just a little bit I'm using a panel for the front I've got three different ones to choose from I think I'm gonna go with this one because it is utterly adorable and I'm gonna use this for the front and I'm gonna use this one for the back and I think I'm gonna do the sleeves on this one as well and I'm hoping I haven't like a little enough to do the neckband and then um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a cap with just this on it. I think it would be super adorable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'm cutting the baby gown just exactly how it goes. I'm only doing the gown so it's going to be the straight front. It's going to be super quick and super cute. To be able to get the panel to match up, I'm going to measure my panel first and then figure out what half of it would be. So I want to make sure that I'm measuring from the longest side to the longest side. It looks like it's about six inches from one edge to the other. So I'm gonna fold at three, which is like right at the, the end of the D. This is basically exactly the length. It's just rolling here at the bottom, which I'll give it a good steam. And then you'll add like another half an inch. But um, this gown is a little bit long, so even if I had to uh, cut up a little bit, I think it would still fit perfectly. going to get started by grabbing our front and matching the shoulder seams right sides together and sewing with a stretch stitch or with a serger on your sewing machine. For the hat I'm going to match the outer and I'm going to match the liners right sides together and sew along the top round edge. All right, so now we're going to go ahead, open up that arm side and attach our sleeves by matching them at that point at the top, matching that to the shoulder seam here, and then going right sides together down the side and matching those raw edges. This is such an easy and quick sew. I love it for, you know, when you're doing baby showers or, um, having a baby yourself or anything like that this is just super super easy to sew and it turns out so cute each and every time and it is something that um it is so sweet to give to a friend um i just love it it's just such a such a cute thing you know what else it would be cute for if you um little one had a doll or something for a doll this would be super cute as well for the uh, cap, I'm going to turn one of them right side out and leave the other one inside. If you want to go ahead and steam this seam, see how it's a little bit wavy? If you give it a good steam, um, you can use like a ham or something um, and poke it out. So it's nice. The out, This is going to be my outer layer. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, outer or liner. They can use whatever, whichever side they want. But one is going to be right side out and you can steam that so it's like those edges are nice and even. And then I'm going to fit the other one. This will be my liner, quote unquote liner. It's going to go right on top. And I'm going to match them right sides together here at the edge. And I'm going to sew all the way around, except for I'm going to leave a little gap where I'm going to turn it. And it will basically be a reversible beanie because once you sew it all up, I'll show you. When you turn it around, you'll have a brim of the outer layer on it. But you can turn it right side inside. I'll show you gonna be super cute and it is so this is another one of those that is so simple to sew up and super cute so let's go do that and the sleeves and then we just gotta sew it together hem attach elastic and we'll be done I mean it's super quick oh wait neck band too we're gonna grab our little neck band and fold it right sides together here at the short raw edge and sew it up 
and then we'll attach it and we'll be basically almost done. For the beanie, we're going to grab where we left that opening and we're going to turn it right side out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to tuck that in, fold in the seam allowance, and we'll go back to our sewing machine and top stitch or hand stitch. I think I'm going to hand stitch because the thing about this one is since it's black on one side and white on the other, I guess I could have like, uh, you know what, the bobbin could be black and then the out the top could be white and see if that makes it not so noticeable. But hand stitching with a ladder stitch would be probably the best thing to do here. So that way you can't see the stitching on the outer side. And then, so look, this could be either once it's all turned and steamed and everything, like this could be if I wanted to wear it this way, could be this way, or if they wanted to wear it this way and then have the black brim which is what i was going for how cute is that gonna be that's gonna be adorable so i'll finish that up by top stitching so in that close right there and our beanie is done so adorable now for our actual gown we're gonna attach our neckband and the first thing we're going to do is quarter our neckband by finding our our quarters of our quarter points of our bodice going to the front the back and then the sides and then doing the same thing with, with our neckband we're going to fold it in half wrong sides together matching up that back seam and going to go to the front and then match the front and the back and go to the sides and now I'm going to match up those seams. The one with the edge, with the seam, goes to the back. And then everything else is just going to match up to those other quarter points. Right sides together. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to go ahead and sew up the sides. Right sides together along the raw edge. And so on the neckband, facing it right side up and just going all the way around. Alrighty, this is going to be super adorable. I'm going to turn it right side out. Oh my goodness. It is literally, utterly adorable. Okay, now I just need to hem. So I'm going to hem the cuffs. I forget that these are tiny cuffs, so you can hem before you sew the sides. That will make it a little bit easier because there's like not enough, not very much room, but that's okay. I can do it. But if you find it hard to do, a nice way to do it is to hem it first before you sew it, the side seams, and then tuck in the seam, the um, serger tail. All right, now for the bottom of the hem, we're actually going to do about three quarter inch seam allowance hem allowance i'm sorry because we're going to tuck in these elast this elastic to uh give that baby gown you know a little bit of gathering at the bottom so it will keep their little legs in there and now it's not gonna be super tight but it will be nice and cozy and easy access for mommy to change diaper the elastic won't be um super tight it'll just be like nice and comfy but i have enough room there for um diaper changes just it'd be so easy to pull it up um sometimes i like these better for little newborns because of the easy access i feel like some of the ones with snaps and everything you have to like worry about snapping and in and out these ones are just so easy to just slide over their little heads and get them in there and then you don't need to worry about snaps at the bottom so i'm going to sew this around but leaving a gap to insert my elastic and then i'll close it up afterward and that will be basically it with our baby gown so adorable i can't get over it i am using my cover stitch but you can easily do this on your sewing machine with a stretch stitch gonna be a little bit harder to do because it's such a tiny little sleeve it's looking so so cute 
It's looking so, so cute. Now, all we got left to do is to grab our elastic. And on our pattern piece, you have the size chart for the elastic. We're going to go where we left that gap and we're going to fit the elastic through all the way around. I'm going to put a little clip here for the beginning of the elastic so it doesn't um, go in. And then I can't. I have to go around and try to find it again. Kind of try to make sure your elastic doesn't get twisted. Sometimes it wants to get twisted. So I want to make sure that it's all nice and straight. Once I've got it here on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and go to my sewing machine, zigzag stitch it on, and then close this little gap right here, and we'll be done with this pattern. All right, friends, we are finished with this utterly adorable set. I am obsessed. That was super quick, super simple, so cute. Um, now, don't forget to follow us and come and check out, subscribe, so you don't miss out. Next time, I'm going to be sewing up a cute little blanket to go along. It's going to be a simple, simple sew. I can't wait to show you. So uh, make sure that you're subscribed so you can see the blanket. And um, we can finish this little um, gift. So cute. I can't get over it.